Hi, I'm Tom Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how to use a formula to calculate the value of an entity attribute instead of persisting it. It happens quite often that your domain model requires an attribute that you should calculate and not store in your database. The age of a person is a typical example for that. It changes every year and you would need to update it. It's much better to persist the date of birth of the person and use it to calculate the age. You can do that with Hibernate's formula annotation which you can see here on the slide. It expects a native SQA snippet as a parameter which Hibernate executes as part of the SQA select statement. It then maps the return value of the snippet to a read-only entity attribute. Let's get into the IDE and have a more detailed look at this example. Here you can see an author entity with the same age attribute as I showed you on the slide. Hibernate will execute this SQA snippet when it retrieves an author entity from the database. It uses the PostgreSQL age function to calculate the age of an author based on the value of the date of birth column and extracts the number of years from the result. I also map the date of birth column as an entity attribute. You can see it up here. It's mapped to an entity attribute with the same name and is of type local date. When you now select an author entity, as I do in this test case, Hibernate adds the SQA snippet defined by the formula annotation to the SQA select statement and maps the result to the age attribute. You can see the select statement here. Hibernate selects all columns of the author table and the result of the SQA snippet I provided to the formula annotation. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content, like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.